18-year-old Leroy Cuss had a bright future ahead of him. He had just started working as a graphic designer at Brodis, and his passion for his craft was evident to those closest to him. But last night, his dreams were snatched away after he was targeted by a robber while walking home from the bus terminal. The robber pounced on him, stabbing him multiple times before taking his belongings and fleeing the scene. And his brother told us today that they'd begun to suspect something was wrong when he was taking too long to get home. My waiting of the 8 o'clock and he's still not showing up, so I called 12 times after 12 times. And I, I, I realized something is not right. So I, I went to so go look for him. Um, so, um, with, you know, I know the route he takes, so I traced back the route. Uh, me and my other brother traced back the route. And um, uh, just just um, on the central walkway, uh, we we found I found his body um, uh, facing down uh, with his right hand on his chest. Um, we had a stab wound in that area, um, back of his head and his neck. Um, his hand he have about maybe five to six stab wounds. And in his left hand, he was holding his debit card from Belize Bank. Um, that's, that's, that's when I called the police. And as his little brother, young Leroy Cos looked up to him. And so Virgilio Cos taught him everything he knew about graphic design, which helped Leroy to launch into his career at only 18 years old. We were very close. We, um, we were really close. Um, I, I taught him graphic design. He, he he wanted to be like me, he do graphic design, he do web development, um, video editing. Uh, he wanted to follow the same footsteps, so I, I, I teach him graphic design last year, around the same time. And in January of 2022, uh, um, actually February, sorry, um, he got his job at Brody's here in Belmopan, but as... Um, as warehouse, he worked in the warehouse, and uh, three months after that, um, he 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 transferred to Belize City for a graphic designer. He is a hardworking person, a happy person. Uh, every day he would he would run jokes. He is always laughing. He is very happy. He is committed. He is willing to work. Uh, every day after work, when he comes home, I would usually ask him, "How was your day? Uh, what did what 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 all you did today?" And he would tell me, oh, I did this, I did that. And he would ask me, how, how what do you think about it? How, how, how could try, um, if I need improvement with my work, tell me. And I usually would would help him with that. I, I tell him what to do and what to fix. And uh, that's like almost every day I do that with him. And those memories of a dedicated younger brother, Aralkos has left. And the grief amongst him and his other siblings was palpable, especially since They'd been expecting to celebrate his birthday with him. It's it's very horrific. Uh, words can't explain the way how we feel. I mean, he's he's really young. He's just starting his career. He he would have been 19 this October 4th, and we are already trying to make plans for his birthday. And he is trying to save up to buy a MacBook for for him to start work on his own, try to enhance his skills. And it's just sad that they took it away from him. I think he did f try fight for his life. Um, I know he, he he did fight for his life. Um, I think that's why they, they, they murdered him. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.